let's move on to the last paper that I want to cover when it comes to self-supervised learning. This has a lot of applications for intelligent document processing and your documents could be in the form of forms, invoices, receipts, reports, etc. These have applications in the finance industry, in the insurance industry, uh, for tax documents, and uh, a lot of banks because of the regulations in, uh, on their documents that they need to keep a hard copy of your documents. And there is going to be manual signatures, handwritten signatures on your, on your documents. You want to do intelligent document analysis. What do you want to do? Perhaps you want to classify your documents and then put them in different buckets. All of these documents are forms. These documents are receipts. These documents are reports, etc. You want to uh, analyze the layout of your document. Here I have a text. Here I have the title. Here is a table where you can do table detection. There are actually data sets for that that I want you to explore. We covered the idea already. So the idea is not new. You're applying it on a new data set. You do your discrete variational autoencoder on your documents or on your resized documents where you had a tokenizer, the decoder, and then you would end up with integer values here. And here you are doing your Gumball softmax trick to give you these tokens. Once you have the tokens, you can put them here, mask your document, push it through your encoder, which is a transformer architecture standard, perhaps 12 year layer, 24 layer standard uh, transformer. And then you are doing your predictions. You are predicting these tokens or token indices. Okay, this is pre training. You're going to do that on a lot of data, a lot of documents. And let's say you want to do document layout analysis or table detection. What would you do when it comes to fine tuning? You take your document, uh, split it, do linear projection. These are going to give you your input patches, push them through these transformer blocks. Uh, there is this feature pyramid network type of ideas where you're going to be combining, you're going to be looking at your image. Uh, in different scales. So one of them is going to see the big picture, the other one is going to see a little bit more details, and the other one is going to see uh, perhaps at the text level all of the details. This one we cover in part one of the course. It's a nice neck. They don't call it head anymore. It's a neck of your architecture, and the head is a mask RCNN type of a head. And then you can do instance segmentation. This is a table, that's a title, this is where you can find your text, that's a figure, this is a table, etc. This is document layout analysis. And then you can extract figures out of your document. You can extract tables. You can look at your text and analyze it. Any questions about it? Was everything clear? So if you didn't fully appreciate mask or CNN or cascade or CNN or this feature pyramid network, neck, uh, don't worry too much about them. These we cover in part one of the course. This is beyond the topic here.